Sorry. <laughs> Love that. Okay, I'm gonna start. Fuck, screw this shit. We're gonna start. Thanks everyone for joining and watching the video on demand of the Assassin's Creed Valhalla podcast. So we've been doing this podcast for like 31 episodes already and we've always been on Twitch and now we want to like live record it here on YouTube so uh, more people can watch it. Uh, and I know some people prefer to stay on YouTube, prefer to stay on Twitch. Now we want to be on YouTube. There were some technical issues with Twitch. So um, thanks everyone for joining already. But if you are like new to this all then um, it's good to know that we will be, like, discussing um, the Valhalla news, like, the Yule event, the new update. There was one leak that is likely fake, but it's still fun to talk about. We got a prediction at the end. So we will be doing the whole show. We'll likely look a bit at the chat, but it's not like a Q&A or anything. So if you have questions, then uh, we might answer them at the end. But overall, it will be, like, a dedicated podcast. So, um, Jacob, thanks for joining. I want to thank everyone for joining already. And I think we can just uh, start then, Jordan, right? Because we've already wasted some time here. Hey, let's do it. How's it going, YouTube? Okay. Let's hey, thanks, Jacob. Woo. There we go. Odin is with us! Yeah, it's good that you're watching, listening to episode 31 of the weekly Assassin's Creed Valhalla podcast. It goes live, of course, every Saturday on your favorite podcast service. And now, for the first time, we are live on YouTube as well. Normally, we live record on Twitch. There were some technical issues on Twitch. Um, but yeah, we now want to like kind of live here on YouTube too and kind of try that out. I'm, of course, Joe Raptor, and I'm always joined by Jordan from It's Jordan Does. Hey, man, how you doing? I'm doing good. I'm feeling very festive for our audio listeners. I've got my Santa hat and my Valhalla shirt. I'm ready to talk Yuletide. Yule, yeah. <laughs> have you already been playing the event? Because it, of course, went live. I uh, have. Yeah. Just, yeah. Okay, cool. I'm curious. What would you think? I'm I've curious. been doing a lot of like the mini games. I haven't really finished too many of the storylines yet, but um, I'm trying there to get to that 775 you, you... mark. It, it, it's yeah. pretty easy. To it's like a brewery play. one and then like a uh, another one um, with the other build, like the cow, the yeah, cattle yeah, the builder. cow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The hunting cow. And that's really mm -hmm. it. But there are some bugs here and there. Um, so good to see people already joining in the YouTube chat. We will kind of be looking more at it than normal, I think. But uh, it will, of course, still be a dedicated show. We go live every Saturday on Spotify, SoundCloud and other um, podcast services, Apple Podcast. We likely got some new reviews, right, uh, Jordan? Do you want to like talk about them already? Yeah. Yeah, we got a, a new review. For those of you who uh, are out there, you can leave a review for us on Apple Podcasts. And uh, we like to read some of them out here on the stream. So uh, we've got one from Wheezy67 from Australia. He says, hey, guys. Love listening to the podcast. You both have some fantastic insights on Assassin's Creed franchise. It's great soaking up all the knowledge that a couple of seasoned pros like yourselves have to offer. I listen to you guys weekly. Hey, thank you, Weezy. I, I mean, I guess we're knowledgeable. Do you feel like we're knowledgeable, Jor? Um, I mean, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's a it's a hope i well thank you so much i i hope we can be more knowledgeable as the time goes on and we get uh way better at this <laughs> yes i mean 31 episodes in so at 50 that yeah. would be like a year of doing this so yeah we still got some ways to go um yeah i already see some people like in the in the youtube chat asking about like the yule festival and the weapons Let, let's let's talk about mm -hmm. this this festival in in a second Let, let's first go over um the rigmarole as well of course um because we're now on youtube as well and i will likely put the video on youtube as well um the support that you do by becoming a member is more like a sort of way to support it if you want um i've been saying this a couple of times because the the crazy releases and I always say this, but um, I just uh, like appreciate you if you become a member 
um, it would help us out, but it's not necessary. Uh, I want to thank Real Scottish Genius for becoming a Raptor member last week. Um, so that's for five dollars per month, and we got Joshua Bird, Nos Say, uh, Notorious Merc, uh, for becoming a Follows Raptor member for two dollars per month, and then you will like get the audio version. Normally, early access. We're now recording on Friday because of the Yule Festival. And, uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're getting some people in the chat here, which is cool to see. So, let's talk about the Yule Festival. I streamed it, Jordan, the, the moment it came out. Um, this, of course, also uh, yeah. the, the kickoff of the first, like, Valhalla season. I actually got a short trailer mm -hmm. that uh, Ubisoft released that I'm uh, going to, like, show here. Um, and I finished the festival in like two hours. Then I got like all the tokens to get everything. Uh, I did cheat a mm -hmm. bit because turns out that the archery challenge is really the way to go. So, uh, yeah, cause you get like 40 at the end of it, no matter yeah. what, right? No, no. If you, if you get like 1200 points or more, but that's pretty easily reachable. Uh, I would imagine mm -hmm. that it's especially like nice on PC, like having the, the archery challenge yeah. that hard, right? It just means you've got to do the archery challenge 20 times and you have all the Yule tokens you need yeah. for everything. And that's literally how the math 40 works minutes. Out. So, yeah, that, that's mm -hmm. you will get tired of the lady, though. I'm not sure if you <laughs> if you kind of like. Uh, notice yeah, that yeah she, doesn't she? I, I, I did it a couple times, but yeah, she's like set, just kept keep saying things like, oh, nice shot. Wow, you're amazing. Yeah, your <laughs> ancestors like... will be proud. <laughs> Odin sights. <laughs> what a shot like those she has four <laughs> lines and she like repeats that all the time and that that's kind of the thing um uh, that, that, that that's, uh, that's funny so yeah. you you uh like there there are three mini games of course for people who don't know it is available till january 7th and actually when you get into the settlement uh you need to have finished one story arc then you will already um like get a cutscene that it's uh, that it's going on and then you will already see that like how much time is left overall what do you think mm -hmm. about like it being a limited time event i know some people prefer to have new content being added for like a permanent edition um yeah I, i'm definitely on that edge of things like i i i get exclusivity like in i guess like multiplayer games but like it's really hard to do that in single player games and i i found that to be kind of weird with uh assassin's creed to a degree like i get that it's also like festive and like it is supposed to only be around this time but like if um people pick up the game a year from now uh which is very common with single player games like will they I mean, be able in a year to from now it will likely be back game? but i get what you mean like in a in a month from yeah. now yeah, yeah. Like, like if people are going to start picking up Valhalla again in, like, February, March, and, like, are they going to have access to some of that content or not? Um, pro uh, uh, the answer is probably not. Like, they're not going to, no. like, unless they bring it back every year for, for the game's existence. But I think so. Uh, I think they will likely do that. Yeah. But um, I, 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 in this particular instance, like, if that would happen with um, content like the Lost Tales of Greece missions that we had in Odyssey, then that, that would kind of suck because those just felt like missions that could have been in the game uh, in the first place. But um, like for, for a festival like this, I kind of get it. And like at one point, it will be weird to have like the snow in the, in the settlement all the time, right? And, and all the decorations. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, in or that instance, like maybe. That. I know it sounds like it, at this point we're just trying to like patch together something, but like you know how you can go to the um, uh, the Sears hut, like maybe the Sears hut has like a Santa potion or something that you drink and it takes you back to the. Oh yeah, that, that, yeah, that's great. that's a good point. You know, like, um, but at the same time, um, oh, are you you've got the always drunk glitch? I. Is that a glitch or is that like literally like they just want you to because you're partying the whole time? No, no, it is it is a glitch because um, okay. after I think after doing the the drinking challenge at the Yule Festival and I'm now meditating for the for the audio listeners because uh, to uh, mm -hmm. yeah lose the the sort of glitch, um, and 
Like it, 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 I think it happens after like drinking, after doing the drinking challenge, and then every time you reload your save or like die. Um, so also when you boot up the game for the first time, you will just be drunk, uh, uh, and that is not supposed to happen because it happens at any point in the game, even if you like go very far from the mm -hmm. festival. So um, yeah, <laughs> it's something. It, it, that's one of the the many bugs, and you you said it like. Um, before, like, you did not experience that many bugs, and I'm kind of impressed by that because yeah, I see many I, people in the chat as well uh, saying that. So the only bug I ran into in the Yule Festival um, is when I was doing the fighting, um, like the, the brawling one, uh, there was a point where my character, like, was, like, four feet in the air. Like, Eivor was, like, off the ground with, like, some like stuff underneath it oh yeah yeah and that's, so yeah a no one yeah yeah and so the only way it got corrected was when the guy punched me but that was like the only bad experience i had i mean i did uh, my character has been drunk i think i have the drunk glitch but like i thought it was like oh we're just partying the whole time and we're supposed <laughs> to do all these mini games drunk um but it, it, it yeah. was just like, it, it, it was kind of weird when um, Dom, the community manager, uh, posted, I think, not even one hour after the event went live. He updated mm -hmm. the, um, the known issues page um, for Valhalla. So they have this known issue forum post. And I will like uh, show mm -hmm. it right here for uh, video listeners. Um, and that, that like after a few hours already included one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, Yule festival related issues and how you can fix them. Like, mm -hmm. um, so was this event ready? Like I I'm, I'm really, well, I, I don't think it was ready. Probably, uh, no, probably not. But like, what are you going to do? They've put all this time and effort into it. They're not going to like hold it back. It's, it's, seasonal specific they have to like release it that's like the deadline is the deadline you know so like the fact that they already had the workarounds tells me like that they knew were still working yeah they knew but like they were like we have to it's a it's a yule festival like if you don't launch it before december tw if it goes no but after on the december other hand 20th, like if you launch weird. it in a state like this that's also it, it you're you gotta pick and choose and at one point you have to be like yeah it's not it's not working like this because my experience were, was totally hammered and for many people, mm -hmm. because you haven't done the quest yet, and that is where the bugs are, where mission markers yeah. are all over the place, um, the the brew yeah, that I you saw have that. to collect is yeah. like invisible. Um, you just don't know where to go. So if you like, I was doing it during the, the well with the chat who already like completed the mission, so they already knew where I had to go. But if you if you are just all by yourself, then every mission, every activity in this in this. Uh, festival is bugged for the archery challenge i had the the the, the sort of um, targets flipped so at one point i was like do i have to like shoot the back of the targets all of a sudden so one round was, was flipped <laughs> like that yeah i got killed in the uh, in the brawl because i was flying and i could not hit the target so i was like i made it yeah. to round seven and then you die because you cannot do anything about it um stuff like that uh, kind yeah of that that is a bit rough. I think it's definitely kind of showcasing. And I, I don't want to bring Cyberpunk into this, but it, I I wonder if there's just challenges uh, with teams working oh, no, from sure, home. Oh sure, sure, like sure. Like what they're what they're, I'm I'm not making that as the excuse, by the way, and saying like we should just take it at face value. It's mainly like I you. It's painfully obvious that ubisoft is struggling with some post-launch like development to a degree whether it's I mean, with the launch um, as well of this game like and and that's so interesting yes. about the whole cyberpunk discussion um and we of course are an assess creed podcast but we should touch on the other big open world rpg that has many issues um it, it's interesting how like look the the state of Valhalla that is like unacceptable. I'm not sure if you saw PS4 and Xbox One like regular footage. Um, that mm -hmm. was like that that they should not have released the game. And at the t at today, like they announced that they pulled it of their that PlayStation pulled it from the store, which is 
I think like good. Unprecedented. Yeah, it's unprecedented, but like you, you don't like everyone buying this game is gonna have the same issues on a regular PS4 or regular Xbox One. So it makes sense mm-hmm. that they they pull it because you're only like getting more of these like uh, refund requests. Um, but Hollow I've been wasn't trying before to buy it that PS5. bad. I still haven't gotten one. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, I mean on Series X the game is actually better than on uh, on PlayStation. Yeah. Uh, but um, like, you totally see it all like all across the industry. But my point then still stands: delay it. Like, if you, because if there are challenges, we will understand. But if you release something that is broken, then I'm like, yeah, but why? I get that 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 is like a festival, but you, if you cannot have it under control, then I think at some point you have to be like. Okay, do we want to release something buggy? And Ubisoft always is choosing for, yeah, let's release something mm-hmm. buggy because um, we have to. It's yeah, I don't know. I mean, if they if they did this festival starting January seventh till the end of January and there would be snow everywhere, like it's not like Santa is in the game or something. Like it's not like that obvious that it's a Christmas event. Like. It could be, too. The other thing, like, we're starting to get... This is where you really get into, like, what drives Ubisoft decisions. Because I feel like this isn't on developers or people like that are creative folks. I think this is... um, This is a big buying opportunity for before Christmas. Like, a lot of video games get purchased and consoles. And so, like... My guess is like they're like we need to launch it before Christmas because we need people to buy packs and all kinds of stuff. And and sure, uh, you're right. Like if you release something that's a buggy mess, like it's gonna have a different impact on you financially because people are gonna get into the Yuletide festival, not have a good experience, and then are they gonna go buy more like uh, cosmetics that, that, for their yeah. settlement? Like no. <laughs> Yeah, you don't know, but that's 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 the other thing. Like, maybe and and you you don't want that to be a reason, but there is a new pack coming this Tuesday, and if they did not release the patch, then the pack would not have been in the game, and they want to have this every other week sort of schedule. It seems, um, mm-hmm. so that might also be related. Uh, I don't know, but yeah. they could have released another patch without the festival. So. I mean, bu- removing the bugs from it, like if I'm going to play, <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Let, if let's I'm move like, on from the bugs. <laughs> is like, I, I like that idea though. Like I like the idea of the mini games. Like th- those are the types of things that I, I think like are pretty cool. Like they didn't really do that for, per se in Odyssey. Like they would release a new boss that you could fight. And I'm hoping that they release more new bosses um, to like, uh, that you can fight in Valhalla, but um, yeah, that like, idea that the the settlement is kind of living and breathing, like it, it definitely kind of scratched that. Obviously, um, pulled a lot of players out of it. If I wish they would have uh, had it a lot more cleaned up to kind of fully get that feeling. But overall, not a bad idea. Uh, it's kind of vanilla, but at the same time, like. What 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 else do you expect from like a really quick uh, thing? They there's no way they could have delayed this because like they've been or like not done it because they've just invested so much time. Like you can just tell yeah, like walking around and, the settlement and yeah. that, let everyone have a better experience. I I I, I mean, but but apart from that, like I tweeted it out as well. Like I was kind of let down by this event because these mini games are not why I play this game and the mini games are mostly like mm-hmm. optional things um, that are fun, but that, that you choose to spend time with if you want. So, And also I think the, the mini games that we saw here were nothing new. We already had a sort of archery practice that you could do with Petra. We already have mm-hmm. Brawl uh, sort of, there were like mysteries that had these. I think the Brawl, sure, the, the, like having the rounds, that was pretty cool. Uh, but but like a drinking game again, I I farmed that for a million times for for money, uh, and so, so yeah, and that was that. I mean, it is like you a, have to yeah. do the missions because that is really where I'm like okay, so because 
I think if you look at the Yule Festival as free content, I, I, mm-hmm. I can feel kind of bad like criticizing it because it's free. And they should, could not have done it, but they did it. They they made free content for us to enjoy, and I wish it was longer. After two hours, there's more gear now. <laughs> I think, but uh, yeah, only for those who get 775 Yule tokens in the next 20 days, potentially. Yeah, but that's. I think I would have been. It would have been worse if it was like a grind where every day you had to like play for three hours to to get these. So I like that yeah. it's not a grind. Um, it's kind of yeah. said that the armor set is just a. A reskin in a way i w- wish they would have ever really mm-hmm. uh, released like a, a unique armor set the weapons are cool though um i still think they're not exciting but that's just it's a good warrior nature. dagger yeah it's, yeah sure. i mean it gets that's, you like crit chance after kill you know yeah it's pretty it's crit chance so it's, it's not bad it, it, it's a pretty cool weapon i think the settlement items are are fine the the, mm-hmm. the tattoo like the rewards are great i, I really like that I like giving, yeah. giving adding that for free um, I just wish that, and I, I'm I'm kind of comparing this to then what we got with Odyssey. And if you then look at a Lost Tales of Greece mission that felt like, mm-hmm. in some ways, like a more interesting side mission, I felt because they were really like contained stories that took you like 45 minutes to an hour to complete. If you then compare that to the missions that we got here, yeah, you still have to do them. But um, it, it's really there is a bandit camp where you have to steal brew and then mm-hmm. you're done and for another mission you have to kill four cows and then you're done and that's the mission like and yeah i'm, I'm then at one point like okay it's cool that there's like a yule festival it makes sense uh in this time period but are they approaching this yule festival thinking okay we have to um make something that that makes sense in the time period what what would be something you would do during a Yule festival? Yeah, hunt cow. But isn't it better mm-hmm. to approach it like what would be an exciting quest and how do we make like an event around it? Because yeah, I, I don't know. It, it just it did not feel exciting. And you get these new weapons and you get this new armor set and that is great. But they're like during the whole festival, you will not be using your weapons at all. Um, the combat mm-hmm. is just... And that's fine. That is like a, a non-combat sort of uh, event in a way, apart from like the brawl. But again, there you don't use your weapons. But I just want, mm-hmm. um, because we're we're really lacking that, like something challenging and something cool to do with the end game weapons that we got. And the game is really lacking that. And if then the first post launch that we get is just a casual event with mini games we kind of already played, then I'm like. Sure, do we now have to wait till February before we get like something substantial? And it seems like that. Yeah. And we can touch on that in a second, but that's kind of my No, that, that, that's a very fair point, considering that there is gaps in end game content uh, with this game in the sense that there's a lot. And what I mean by that is that the game points towards this expansive end game with its. Um, power levels it's a it, the fact that uh you have all these runes and all these different skill sets that you can use yet there's no there's still no enemy scaling beyond going to like the isle of white and like fighting the most power level people there or like mm-hmm. um yeah that's like kind of about it or like you do which is you just withhold all your mastery skills <laughs> oh no i'm not gonna spend it like, up the cap yeah. though so i'm like it, so it like was 30 already- no, no, it was 30 for for uh, each uh, sort of mastery level, but now it mm-hmm. is uh, it is even more. Or, yeah, now it doesn't yeah. seem to be like I have a cap or people just did not reach it yet, which is just nuts yeah. because on 400, well, you're like, what's the point? Beast. Yeah. But what's you're right, the like, they could have. I, I don't mean to be like the mythical guy because I, I know several fans out there aren't big fans but but like they could have easily used the seer hut like maybe at the yule festival you like uh drink something and then you like fight like a big yeti that like a mythical oh, yeah. like huge yeti or, or something you fight like that. Like, Fenrir you again but then he has sort of but he's like white power or something. <laughs> with a santa hat yeah he has a santa hat <laughs> that would be here with a santa hat uh <laughs> <laughs> um no like uh well 
yeah i i to to kind of like clean it up yes i totally agree like now that you kind of point it out it is very kind of like an empty like it i it is an empty event i i feel like it's interesting but you're right like there's all these other things out there where it's like for post-launch content like i guess the yule festival though they probably were thinking about it so from this perspective, which is they want all players, regardless of where they're at in the game, keep in mind to very, what is it? We need to look up the um, achievement percentages again, but I doubt oh. very many people are like anywhere near three to 400 skill. Oh, you're sure. Uh, is there like actually in a trophy for like getting to 400? I don't know. I don't know. Um, but like, I was even looking at like cyberpunk, like, um, I, no, no spoiler. Alert. Like only like seven or eight percent of the players have reached like the highest and things like that. And so like, um, but like, yeah, I'll... I feel like it's very similar with Valhalla right now. So they're probably trying to do this broad range event for people who to try to get them to come back into Valhalla like, right now. Why I'm so so critical of this event overall is because mm -hmm. I don't like this direction, uh, and I mm -hmm. if this is uh, like the first thing they have planned for um for like because this lasts till january 7th so then they mm -hmm. already announced okay let, let, let's talk about what they announced in uh for february because that that's okay. kind of interesting to, to to throw in there because this, that actually sounds exciting um i will make a video about this as well um uh go more in depth on it but what they basically said taste of the river rate update in addition, um, I'm gonna like go back here. Oh, Jordan, you're gone. You're gone. Wow. Am I oh, here? Sorry. Yeah, yeah, you, you, yeah. You're uh, back. <laughs> nice. Uh, okay, uh, I'm here. going to the display here. Okay, like this. Okay. Taste of the River Raid update. In addition to new skills okay. and abilities that will be unlocked in February 2021. The new River Raid mode will take you through not one, not two, but three new and replayable maps packed with gear, silver runes, books of knowledge, and much more. You will also want to build the new Jumps Viking Hall in your expanded settlement so you can recruit even more Jumps Vikings to take on these River Raids. More details about this new mode will be available in early 2021, so stay tuned. Until then, happy holidays and have fun festivities. So what they're basically saying is that we get like three new raid maps with gear, silver, mm. rune, books of knowledge, and much more, which sounds pretty cool. Like th th that's that does sound cool. Like it, I wonder if it's like a repeatable map, like it resets itself every day. Yeah, it's like, if it's like that... replayable. Yeah, like that to me sounds like great like I, I i'd like that tomorrow if possible <laughs> without <bugs. laughs> yeah yeah but th that that so this this sounds awesome but after this event i'm kind of like okay but they they also talked about this event as like a huge thing and you're done in two hours so what how much <laughs> will this be and that that was always kind of the problem with the odyssey and origins post launch as well like a cool a mythical creature gets added but uh, you, you fight him once and maybe you save before so you can show builds on him as you did multiple times. Uh, but after <laughs> that, it's like like over. But still, some myth mythical creatures more exciting, I think, than doing some mini games at a festival. Um, yeah. But yeah, we have to wait and see. This sounds awesome. Did you already know about the new skills, by the way? Did you see them already? Um, I saw, yeah, I saw a couple of them, like in your video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they all suddenly already appeared for me. Um, mm -hmm. And I think I have footage of it, which I can show for people who missed it. But I don't know if we need more abilities as much as we need, like, more uh, weapon types. I think or we not need weapon more types, skills, like though. Like, or like yeah, I guess skills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fun. Yeah, skills. I guess new abilities would be fun. I guess I'm just looking... Like, again, it points back to the thing that, like, I'll be quick because I, I complain about every week is the fact that there's, like, only, like, two or three flails in the whole game, that type of stuff. But 
<laughs> they should just we'll do a on. flail update for you and then add five flails <laughs> to the shadow. The flail you. update. There just, will be a new flail no, next the, week in the pack, in the no, item pack. The, arm, the armory update. They need to drop like 10 different weapons of each weapon type with all kinds of different random cool perks on them. So we can all go mix and match and have fun with them. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to the... To the... <laughs> actually, actually, I was like playing and then all of a sudden, so I leveled up, I still needed like... So I got two skill points and then I went to my skill menu and mm -hmm. I could unlock the skills already. Arrow Looter wow. is one of them. Eivor has a greater chance of looting arrows from archers. But it's wow. they, they're just not exciting at all. Like, <laughs> Did you really hear how like, excited I was? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Strap in for this one. Always start a fight with an adrenaline slot filled. I mean, it's nice, but... Yeah, yeah that's... I guess that, that make Like, my first instinct is, like, if you're an assassin player... Mm-hmm. So you can use like a smoke bomb or... But yeah, uh, if you are an assassin player, you you will like this one. Assassin carry. Hold R1 to automatically carry a body after a successful assassination. But mm -hmm. did you ever like hold bodies and like move them in this game? No. Like <laughs> you, I, in, in Valhalla and in Cyberpunk, I've never... Re, like they both put a big tutorial thing about how you should hide bodies and um really there's no reason that. to no there's no reason to uh, there's no reason to it really feels like a feature that has always been in the game so they like just put it in every time but there's like mm -hmm. no gameplay around it or anything so yeah the river raid sounds cool but yeah i want to i want to like go back to to odyssey and what they had in november for example, so mm -hmm. that was like the game came out October fifth, and November yeah. we already had uh, this. November twenty eighteen, the story content, the first quest line, the show must go on, and the second divine intervention that was with the the spear that you made a video on, remember? Yeah, or like the yeah with the crit chance spear, I think it was. So they added yeah, the two. <laughs> The two quest The rarest already. weapon in the game hidden behind one choice. Yes. <laughs> and he had no chance of knowing that it, that it was that weapon. Um, <laughs> so they talk about the epic events. Like, that's also an issue with, uh, with Valhalla right now. Mm -hmm. Apart from these sort of curated content drops, going back to the game every week for, like, the weekly reset is not exciting because the, the sort of contracts that Reda has are the same each week. And they're same every day. Well, yeah, well, and that's the thing is like what's different is like if you actually kind of separate it, uh, Valhalla's post-launch schedule and what they're saying is um, th is better than the post-launch, in my opinion, of Odyssey. What made it different and why I think Odyssey overall did it better is that there were game mechanics that supported end game content already baked into Odyssey with like the conquest system and the map was kind of swapping all the time or like you had the naval fights and you had all those little um, Mystios contracts where you're like, oh, you got to go take out these things. And then they would just insert storylines periodically mm -hmm. is what they did mm -hmm. versus like Valhalla. Like you've got this massive story. It's a really good story. You got to finish it at some point, but like, Oh yeah, we're Once gonna get to that of, uh, with the predictions. <laughs> yeah, and like, uh, once you uh, reach a certain point in Valhalla, you're just there's no natural replayability unless you just ride around like taking out just random guards that are just traveling around. And, and, and so the, the your RPG elements are of course missing. To like, there's no incentive mm -hmm. to tweak and just keep playing to collect better gear, like. You say what you want about that epic system. It did make you grind a bit for cool items um, in a way to get like a cool set. There were like way more build options. So that already like kind of facilitated that. Um, in November, so one month after launch, we already got the first mythical creature. Uh, Sterophis mm -hmm. was already added to the game. So that was like a pretty pretty big event. Um, they, they added the visual customization system. 
uh, level cap increase already to 70 and the auto crafting for arrows. Um, so, um, like, I, I, I'm just like kind of curious. What, 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 what is the plan here? And also, when they announce the seasons, what, when you hear seasons for a post-launch, what do you think about? Like, what, what, what comes to your mind well, now, when you now, hear, "Hey, we have seasons." I think like they mean literal seasons like i think they're gonna follow up this yuletide snowy one with like a uh like a spring one and then yeah. like a summer one and then a fall one um, yeah and i hope they don't do that but yeah you're likely right but i also think when i think about seasons is that it's like and sure i don't expect like a fortnite season where they really go all in but i do expect like a drip feed of content where this season we're gonna give you these features, and every week there's something new for you to uh, to check out. And basically, mm -hmm. what's going to happen in this first season is that we get two updates. So why call it yeah. a season? Why not call it Content Drop One, and that's the Yol Festival. Content Drop Two is the the River Raid update. Why is this a season when there is nothing more? It seems right now. Then the um, yeah, then the content drops that we already that 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 they are talking about. So I'm kind of like, mm -hmm. and I hope that that we get like um, a quality of life improvements because so far these updates have been fixing like for like some things, but some things are still broken. I still get many people saying, "Hey, that daughters of Lyrian mission, uh, I still can't mm -hmm. like interact with them. I still can't talk to Uba." Um, I still can't progress the missions with like launch issues that were there from when the game came out. So I'm like cur curious what 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 the plan here kind of is. I'm just not convinced that uh, that apart from these big content updates, there's like really a big plan where they're gonna add a ton of stuff or something. I don't know. Yeah, I I, I hope so. I also think like it's getting to a point where like, I don't want to really get my hopes up. Like the, the river raid seems like a really cool idea. Yeah, I'm hope, really so excited for that. But at the same time, um, it's like, I feel like that they're just behind, like they're behind uh, several months still from the launch from like everything. Like I feel like the game should have launched around January or something like that. And so I feel like we're going to kind of feel that residual effect with a lot of these post launch things. Um, like there's probably going to be some disappointing issues because there has been raid bugs. Um, and so like, if they're really leaning heavily on the raid system, there's a good chance like there, I don't want to be Mr. Negative, but um mm -hmm. no i feel you yeah so yeah that's it's gonna be uh interesting to follow like so far for a first post-launch update this is what we have planned i'm just not feeling it for this yule festival that that's kind of where i'm at <laughs> like compared to what we had in the past the first thing for origins was the trial of the gods and sure there were many things wrong with the trial of the gods it was too easy or but it was exciting or something. It was, oh my god, I can't mm -hmm. believe they're doing this. And it's a completely new boss fight. And you got a completely new weapon. And here I'm drink I'm doing a drinking game again. And I'm I'm hunting cow and I'm getting to a bandit game. Really, I, I think Valhalla did 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 it very well where um they 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 really tried to make every mission while still using the same elements give a cool twist to it while that it still like felt different that you would go on with a different character sometimes you had to burn the the, the village you had to like do it uh stealth uh, a little bit more or there, there were like ways they they twisting there they were twisting it up and for this mission everything went out of the window and they're like really okay let's do the most typical mission you can think of um so yeah i i hope uh like if that if that is like what we get compared to the lost Hills grease missions then I do kind of feel sad about that. But yeah, we'll yeah. wait and see. We will monitor it here, of course. Uh, at least that February update is it sounds cool. It's it just also that 
every game and they kind of are saying that themselves well they're gonna be like bigger post-launch plans and then what, what Valhalla mm -hmm. so far doesn't feel like that and I still think that they just need to first overall the whole game but uh, I'm not sure if yeah. that's gonna happen yeah the, the the thing is is I mean remember Unity's launch too is like there was just issues out the um Mm -hmm. out the door with that game as well i don't think i think our future of games being launched with bugs is going to be um kind of standardish for a while until it just gets to a breaking point i don't know if we've quite reached the breaking point we're all still like pre-ordering games because we all think the next one's gonna not be that way um, but I don't think people will pre-order the next CD Projekt Red game, <laughs> at least on console. That, that, that is true. I mean, if it if it's reaching hype levels, that by the way, if we do want to transition the conversation, that like a lot of people are like, well, CD Projekt Red, like they never said no. If you look back at their marketing materials, there is at least a list of twenty things that they said would be in the game that wasn't they they fully no man skied themselves yeah yeah, yeah for um, sure. and so yeah hey, I, that game for, so, I, I, I never year. thought that i would forget about the many issues valhalla had after like mm -hmm. going through the whole cyberpunk thing uh, i i never thought that cyberpunk would be way worse than uh than Valhalla. i that crossed my mind like several weeks back when we were talking about uh in an episode we were talking about how like cyberpunk's gonna just steal away valhalla's audience there's a part of me that's like i don't know this this game has been hyped up to like the most hype that's ever been hyped for a video game in a long time and um <laughs> what if it falls on its face everyone's gonna be like <gasps> What do we do? We have to go back to Valhalla now. There's like hundreds of hours of story to finish still. So I feel like people who uh, enjoy Valhalla might be, uh, who have cyberpunk issues, might be popping back to Valhalla to finish the story over Christmas break. Um, oh, yeah. We'll and they, they totally should. Like, I think uh, I think overall uh, Ubisoft is uh, kind of happy with how it's going. I would imagine. Yeah, Ubisoft is like, that's probably like the unfortunately because honestly iron sharpens iron like if cyberpunk would have crushed valhalla out the gate like was expected it would have put a ton of pressure on companies like ubisoft to be better um yeah. but now that like we they all kind of had this substandard launching uh experience like it kind of to be fair, like Cyberpunk, is way worse than Valhalla in on the base consoles. Like Dennis for yeah. for the channel actually played Valhalla on a launch Xbox One. Yeah, and when he like yes. showed me the footage, I was like, "How can you play on this?" But it did work. Like it it mm -hmm. looks really bad. It chucks along, but it still like is able to get the 30 FPS going. And yeah, it is playable. Like. It, but people cannot play Cyberpunk. On yeah, on, 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 yeah, on, on base consoles, it's just almost impossible mm -hmm. to play Cyberpunk. So there are big yeah. differences. But like you said before the show as well, and I, I tend, I agree so far. I've had more issues in Valhalla than in Cyberpunk, and that is just weird to say right yeah. now. But that's kind of how it I, is. Yeah, and it, I know we're, it sounds like we're flipping back. Like I, I do. What my criticisms for Cyberpunk, because I'm one of the fortunate few who was able to play it on like a very good graphics card on the PC. So my visual bugs and those types of things were not there in Cyberpunk. But what was there was like the fact that you had this massively immersive city that had felt oddly empty. And mm -hmm. so it was a lot of more gameplay criticisms. Uh, from my standpoint for cyberpunk, which is supposed to be this, they really pushed the whole GTA thing and uh, somehow GTA five is still better at doing it than cyberpunk is. Yeah. So, I mean, um, we'll see. It, it, it's very interesting. Like I'm, I'm happy that we got both games. Uh, it just, like you said, mm -hmm. an unprecedented time. So it makes sense. I just wish that um, the, the world is not so heavily focused on, uh, like th that there's not like 
I don't know. Likely Valhalla would have done would have done maybe a little worse if it came out a few months later because of the holiday rush and stuff like that. But it would have been a way better game for it, and I just wish that. Yeah, we would look at things like that. And I bet you they're that's... wishing now that they would have delayed it and launched it after Cyberpunk like fell in the dirt. <laughs> oh damn! On the other hand, people are now going back to Valhalla or picking up Valhalla now instead after having refunded Cyberpunk. Yeah. I would imagine. Um, but that is the one thing. Yeah, go ahead. Oh. No, I, I was just gonna repeat another thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let, let, let's about. continue a bit because I want to like go over a. New segment, because we're we're in that time of the year again, Christmas. No, another time of the year, namely Assassin's Creed leaks. And this leak is totally <laughs> fake, but there will be many more fake leaks. And I don't want to spend more than five minutes on this, Jordan, because okay. then people think that it might be real. And it's not real, so I'm going to say that multiple times. But I yeah. think it's fun to read the leaks, and then maybe, because sometimes... These leaks turn out to be true, but that's like one out of a hundred, maybe. No, maybe, maybe a little bit more. But I, I do want to present you this idea of what this person on 4chan and 4chan is already like, code red, code red, likely not real. But yeah, um, game it, leaks on 4chan don't really happen. Yeah, anymore. because everyone and their mother can go make an account and post a picture oh. of of something. So. But I do think it's cool to have this returning segment where, oh, there was a new leak, let's kind of laugh about it, or how much... Mm -hmm. let, let's give a percentage of how m much we think that this is real or not. So I'm going to switch for the okay. video uh, viewers to the leak right now. Assassin's Creed 2021, 2022. Friends. AC is coming in Here. early 2022. Physical year 2021. So for people who don't know, the physical year is from... April 2021 till uh, until March 2022. Set during 100 years of war and will be a dark fantasy take on the setting. Massive battles and huge castles and shit. <laughs> yeah, that's already like, okay, this is fake. But let's continue. Darkest, grittiest AC ever. Sieges from Valhalla are completely overhauled, as in stealth and free run. And that, that is always, when you read... Stuff that, that say, oh, they're really going to focus more on stealth and free run. Then you know that it's kind of a wish list, I think, of a fan. Game was entirely yeah. delayed due to COVID, but is smaller than the past few games. It's a budget title by Toronto and meant to hold over until China in 2023. For one, like I think China could be 2023. I think the Valhalla team is now working on a new game for the end of 2023. But uh, mm -hmm. yeah, wh what do you make of it, of the castles and shit? Um, I mean, it's very generalized. There's no proof. Anyone who, so keep in mind, anyone who knows what the next Assassin's Creed game is are very close workers to Ubisoft. I mean, it could still happen. Likely though. under. It can still happen, because but usually not, leaks like, happen uh, because of like playtesters who, uh, yes. yeah, they 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 of course still sign an NDA, yeah. but they are like, yeah, but as a screen leaks all the all the time, so why not like throw people a bone or something, or they they yeah. like the like that people are talking about something that they did. Uh, I'm not sure why people would leak, but that that might be one of as the long as it's a, a good game. I'm fine. Like to me, you're a hundred percent right about the wish list. Like I, I kind of want to steal like a minute to reference like an old leak, a Valhalla leak from yeah, sure. a year ago. All right. So this is what the same leakers were saying about Valhalla a, a year ago. The same the title guy. <laughs> of the next game is Ragnarok. Um, up to a four-player drop-in, drop-out co-op like Ghost Recon Wildlands. I think it's it's not going to happen. The, the, I mean, I don't think the drop-in, drop-out will happen. But I do think that we get like sort of a Unity-style co-op in one of the next games. That would, that would be... See, I, I'm down for that. But like, Me too. It goes if it's back not to like it's impacting like the single player, then I'm fine with it. Sorry? Yeah. It's a wish list. Like uh, they also even talk about the story. Like here's the they even put it in spoiler tags. Do you want to know how the game <laughs> Valhalla begins, Jor? Yeah, I'm really. Curious. The game begins in 8:45 at the siege of Paris Whoa. with you. <laughs> they played the DLC first, and then they they went back to the main game. 
<laughs> the, and then there's another thing where you uh, befriend King Alfred and go conquer Russia at some point, uh, <laughs> nice. Kiev. Uh, so on the other hand, you it know, would be like it, you travel to Finland and uh, <laughs> meet like get, see an uh, apple of Eden or something. And I, I, I would been, already be like, hey, what the heck? No way. I actually have been. I, I, I do want to go back and try to find all of them, all the popular ones, and seeing which one yeah, we got can do it relative. That once. When because we're like in January waiting for the river rates, we likely have a sort of episode yeah. where it's like, yeah, there's a new item back coming, but that's everything actually. <laughs> What's interesting to me though is in that in that same leak that I was just reading is they did say the character's name Jora, which was leaked. Uh, that that was the original yeah name yeah they, they seem to have changed Avor. it to Avor because they actually have a, yeah. a, a Easter egg at the in the Layla part where it's like Jorah's berries mm -hmm. it's like one of the uh, yeah cereals it's like why have. would they name it after a horse because like that's no, why people they thought changed. They, they named it after me <laughs> oh, no, yeah. no 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 it's Jorah from the <laughs> previous name um yeah okay uh, but yeah you're talking about old leaks uh, we already are almost about over the five minutes so i want to just get back to the idea do you ever think they're gonna launch a ac in early because i'm still camp 2021 i still think next year december 19th uh when this podcast go usually goes live we will have played a new ss creed that's still where i'm at but you think a year from now we will be talking about a different Assassin's Creed game because we're playing it. Yes. All right. And 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 Amen. I've said it multiple times, but like that's why this leak is uh, why because I don't think like the the budget title. I just don't think that Ubisoft is gonna why spend a ton of time like they want that every time a new Assassin's Creed releases, it's like a uh, a, a a moment, right? So that people mm -hmm. knowing they that they when the new Assassin's Creed comes out, they know what they expect, know what to expect. A huge open world, a ton of content, RPG elements, a story, Assassin Templars. Uh, you can wear a hood and that, let's go. And if there's like a budget title all of a sudden that looks like a regular game, then what will happen when you release a legit game? Then people will think, okay, so is this a budget title? Is this like a a real game so that's why i'm already like hmm, i don't know but i think the early 2022 is also just not gonna happen like even covid totally uh -huh. delayed this next game like i'm sure of it like every game yeah. in 2021 is pushed or uh maybe not coming Which is out that year anymore because of covid impressive that you stick by the fact that they're gonna release two assassin's creeds back to back in the like but year after what year do you think are they then like going to launch it are they gonna delay it by one full year? Because that's Probably. the thing. That's Every what I'm Assassin's Creed comes out in the fall, and if mm -hmm. they wanted, if they were a, if they wanted to like launch a game in the early part, they could have done it two times already with Unity and with this game, and they stick to their guns. So mm -hmm. why change it all of a sudden? Unless it's like really bad. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Let, let's quickly do the donation I see they, here because we're on YouTube. Thanks, Viking yeah. Berserker. Did they fix Bjorn leaving the crew glitch? I, I'm not even sure about that, but I'm, I don't think so. I haven't read it. About I would it assume in the, not. Yeah, I, I, I did not see it in the patch notes. So thanks for the support. I mean, it, it is unprecedented like, time. If they, if they do release it in early, like 2022, like... I it's guess possible. I wouldn't be surprised, but like you're right, like it's usually a fall title, and so if, yeah. if they're not launching a game next fall, it'll be the fall after that. It, honestly, part of me is like I want them to not release it. Oh, next me too. Year. <laughs> like I'd like for the. I mean, I guess from like a content perspective, like it, it might be a long, arduous wait, but like. Um, I'm not, I don't know with I'm, how these I'm, games I'm kind are of launched. Two minds. Like, give them a little bit more time. I'm of two yeah. minds. I, in the end, did not mind that Odyssey came out after Origins. And mm -hmm. with the state of Valhalla right now, and how how much work they still have, and 
Sure, the two like season pass expansions, I think they are going to be really cool. But if it's still... And I, I care so much about... And that that's also like a comparison with Cyberpunk. Like, sure, um, both launched in a, in a quite terrible state. Cyberpunk even more so than, than Valhalla. But, mm-hmm. like... The uh, when playing Cyberpunk, I I I have exciting discoveries that I just completely missed in Valhalla, and that will totally mm-hmm. like taint every post-launch armor set or new weapon or skill or something they add, because if it's every time, yeah, your crit chance increases after a kill, but why would I care about that at all? Like, then you're just I already one shot people basically yeah yeah then then you're already like okay so if we're like sticking with this game for two years and every item they release is like not exciting at all then i kind of wish for a new game that does change that uh, in a way no you're 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 definitely right you are like i definitely would want but like you that's another part you think is yeah all these gear like for what purpose what are we fighting with all this what are we fighting for (laughs) Yeah, <laughs> exactly. No, I don't know, but Do uh, want- it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be interesting. But I, 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 that's just like, and that's one way, one reason why people play the game. But like um, mm-hmm. my channel and, and your channel as well, we really uh, kind of we we, and that's like kind of how I like to describe the the origins content I did. I like spent way too much time on like one single weapon and discussed why it was good or not and compared it to other weapons. And that's just not possible mm-hmm. in this game. Like there's just no reason yeah. to do that in this game. So like one big part of why I really enjoy these games is just missing in Valhalla. So I'm just curious if they're mm-hmm. going to fix that uh, here and maybe a new game from a different team that has like more uh, likes to like toy around with RPG elements more adds that but um i definitely depth. think miss depth. if i if i could uh if i could snap my fingers and make an executive decision at ubisoft what i would have is i would have um montreal's team do the storyline for assassin's creed and have quebec do the gameplay it, I'm, um, I'm, I'm gonna be so fascinated to see what quebec does next because i'm not sure if you saw but immortals is already 32 mm-hmm. percent off like uh that's pretty nuts two weeks after launch the game is already like mm-hmm. heavily discounted um i haven't heard anyone about it after launch actually um uh, they have this huge team that made odyssey and they could have chosen to let them like focus on the nexus as creed for next year uh, and likely made way more money. And well, in the end, that's where a lot it's of all those about. people who work on it, which is why like Odyssey kind of pushed the needle of RPGs in um, Assassin's Creed, is they've got a lot of RPG folks there. So like, yeah, yeah, yeah. if anything, like if we wanted to be real, like they should really just like let them lean into their creativity. And like, if people are frustrated with the Assassin's Creed lore that the team comes up with, like, have Montreal handle that because they mm-hmm. have the most people who are experienced with Assassin's Creed stories and yeah. lore. For sure. Thanks, Lucifer, yeah. by the way, for becoming a member. Really appreciate it. Okay, let's uh, put an end to this because we're, we've already been talking for quite a while, but. I enjoy like yeah. going over the the. We, I, I think like overall the podcast should be more discussing the events of, of Valhalla instead of like rounding out the news because we have the update here. <laughs> Watch my video about it. Like you, you will be up to date and maybe you already did. Um, yeah. So like, okay. Um, you made last week a very fun prediction about how yes. my game breaking progression glitch where I'm not able yeah. to pledge to Lincolnshire for the second time, so I'm not able to complete the final few acts in the game, would not be fixed mm-hmm. in 2020. And I think we now yes. got the final patch of 2020. And the first thing I did was go to the Lincolnshire um, thing. I'm going to like okay. maybe try it live here too. But All right. Oh, so try it, which I, means... I already tried it, but... 
it, it's still not fixed. So you won. That that's what oh, I God. wanted to say. With, with your prediction was, I'm I'm upset that I won. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm here. Okay, I'm gonna like do it like this because there are maybe some spoilers. Some people say like you have to like have them talk because I skip all the time because I've listened to it a couple of times. Maybe it works. Yeah. But yeah, that's already. I'm. I don't think they're gonna like launch another update, and that's also why the your books kind of suck because they're not gonna fix it like mm-hmm. the the time when they is have there a new anything patch out, else you can pledge to can you like no pledge to I, something I did else? everything did everything okay i need to hmm. um kill the the sucker there okay so yeah. you have a new prediction for what we think will happen before the first post launch uh, season pass expansion or DLC. Yeah, every week we do that here at the end of an episode. We made launch predictions as well, but because I still mm-hmm. haven't fully completed the game because of this issue. Okay, I'm going to go back now. See if okay. I can. Like, do, it. do you want me to say mine while you? No. Okay, I'm still stuck. Someone said like. Are you okay? Equip a bo- a a bow. What if you get drunk and then do it? <laughs> <laughs> that might be it. Okay, I'm unequipping a bow, and now I'm equipping it. We're we're doing uh, troubleshooting with uh, tech troubleshooting. No, I'm, with, still, um... I'm still stuck. Okay, you won. You won that one. Okay, what is your new <laughs> prediction? <laughs> what is your new prediction? River raids will not be replayable. But on a daily or weekly cooldown, is that a fair prediction? So they, so they are stale, replayable, but on a weekly. They're not like, not whenever you want. Like you just can't just keep going and going and going. It's gonna be like it gets reset via the server, kind of like Reda does, like once a day or weekly. You can yeah, okay. only so go it's in. Still and replayable, do it. but yeah. it is on a daily or weekly cooldown. Yeah, I could settle with just daily or weekly to make it a little bit more. I'd be willing to pick weekly. No, no, no. I'm fine with that. I'm fine day. with that. I'm just like making it okay. sure for people to um, that they understand. Mm-hmm. Okay, I still need to. to is it. that an okay prediction or am, am I. Is that an easy, too easy? No, no. I think it's that's like, fine. That's I, I think you can just replay it over and over again. I'm not sure if they're going to put a daily or weekly cooldown on it. Maybe for like a special uh, nightmare challenge. So you you say mm-hmm. every river raid sort of mode is on mm-hmm. the daily or weekly cooldown thing. Yeah. Okay. Like it'll be like complete the raid in the next forty eight hours, and it'll have like that forty eight hour. And then you countdown. finish it, and then you're like done for today, and then you come back. Yeah, later. and you have to wait until the forty eight hours counts, till everyone else does the raid, and then. Um, they'll f- refresh a new one. Okay. okay. Yeah. I don't want it to be that way, but I'm 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 trying to I'm trying to he- beat Ubisoft to where they arrive. <laughs> I'm gonna say I'm gonna say this: the new armor set that is linked to the River Raid. For people who are just okay. joining, River Raids are the new uh, February uh, uh, update for Valhalla. Mm-hmm. They talk about in addition to new skills and abilities. We'll take you to packed with gear, or new gear, silver, runes, and books of knowledge. I'm gonna say this right now: the new gear set during the River Raid mm-hmm. will be mm-hmm. another alternative version of a gear set we already have. Is that so the fair? perks will not be unique. No, no, the perks will be unique, but the look will be. Oh, this is the Fane armor set, but they put some blood on it. So kind of similar to what we had now with the with the. Okay. Instead of like, I, 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 I'd be, I'm, I'm okay with that. Yeah. And like, we can be the judge. We'll let chat one day be the judge yeah. of how similar it, the armor set is to another armor set. Armor set from River Raid updates will be. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, will be similar to what we already have. Okay. Mm. Well, uh, Jordan, that, that was the the episode, I think. For, uh, for yeah the- um yeah thanks everyone for watching for the first time on youtube that that's cool thanks risa for keeping it civil there yeah, thank you everybody 
And uh, of course, you can also listen to it every Saturday on audio platforms, um, on Spotify, on Apple Podcast, uh, on SoundCloud. You can download it there. So totally do so because uh, if you, uh, yeah, th- th- that's one way to support us. You can leave a review. We will then read it next time here on the show. You can also send in your questions or what you thought of the Yule Festival or what you want to see improved. Let us know as well. We kind of have to figure out a schedule, Jordan. We're really not well prepared because next week is Christmas. And mm-hmm. the week after that is New Year. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe we can do a special episode early next week or something. We'll yeah. figure it out. Yeah, that, that might be it. Okay, thanks everyone for, for watching. Um, l- yeah, I'm, I, I actually have to, uh, to go now. Let's see. <laughs> it's okay. See everybody. Um, yes. Be sure to like the stream and follow us on all of our social all media the stuff. platforms. You know, and be sure. You know, we. And you know, I can't live without the clout. I need the clout. And yeah. <laughs> your ancestors will be proud. Odin sides. Yeah, your aim yeah. is good. Nice shot. Nice wow. shot. Wow. Wow. And did you actually know that if you play really bad she's like my grandma shoots better and she's long dead so she has like different <laughs> lines if you play really bad that's, that's uh, kind actually, of funny yeah. yeah well uh i hope you don't have nightmares from that archery lady and uh goodbye no.